What do you believe is the key to fostering stronger communities, and how would you promote it as a title? I personally believe that the key to fostering stronger communities is one, starting with communication, and two, having respect. So it's important to understand that not every single person in every single community communicates the same way as you do or I do, and it's important to also understand that different people's cultural upbringings impacts the way not only that they see their life, but that they go about everything that they do. So it's important that when you're fostering cultural outreach projects or starting that you start at a ground like base level and you go in with a clear space and an open mind to go forth and make sure that you're doing everything to where there's no miscommunication or there's no cultural misdirection or anything like that. As a title holder, I would take those values that I have in my day-to-day -day life of making sure that I am appreciative and respectful of everybody's culture and making sure that I communicate in a positive and uplifting, but also a way that allows me to make sure that I'm not forcing my beliefs or my values onto anybody else anytime that we would go through any initiative, any organization thing that we would do with uh, at Alpha. And what do you believe is the most important quality in a leader? And how do you embody that quality? I think that the most important quality in a leader is probably kindness. It doesn't take much to be kind. It doesn't take much to smile at somebody, to talk to somebody, to just have some good old Southern hospitality. The way that you communicate with people and the way that you approach people in your day-to-day -day life is what sets the tone for everything that you do. So I try to make sure that I have an air of positivity around me everywhere that I go and that I greet people, talk to people, and I try to provide a safe and pleasant environment for everybody that I'm around. 